Assalamu alaikum and good morning students. The topic which we are going to study today is the adjective order. And we have some aims and objectives of this topic which are to understand the order of adjective and to learn the order and to make sentence according to the order of adjectives. Students, we are having the topic the order of adjective. Before going towards the order of adjective, let me explain you what is adjective. Adjective are the words that describe or clarify the nouns. Adjectives describe nouns by defining some information about an object's size, shape, age, color, origin, material, purpose. Let us look at some of these uses. If we are talking about the size of an object, the size of a noun, it will be it's a big table. Here the table is a noun. If you are talking about noun's shape, it's a round table. If you are talking about noun's age, it's an old table. If you are talking about color, it's a brown table. If you're talking about origin, it's an English table. If you're talking about material, it's a wooden table. Opinion, it's a lovely table. Observation, it's a broken table. Purpose, it's a coffee table. Now, the order of adjectives. Sometimes we use more than one adjective in front of a noun. Suppose she is a nice, intelligent, young woman. Now in this sentence, you can see we are having three adjectives. Nice, intelligent, young. They are in some order. This is the rule of order of adjectives that we have to write the adjectives in front of noun in an order. Another sentence is, he had a big square brown wooden box. Now, what is the rule and what is the order that's written here with the red capital letters? Adjective order and the capital letters written in the red are the short forms or you can say a shortcut to learn the order. That O S A S C O M P. O for opinion, S for size, A for age, S for shape, C for color, O for origin. M for material and P for purpose. Students, you have to learn this order because according to this order, we are going to arrange the adjectives in front of a noun or in a sentence. Now, what is opinion? An opinion adjective explains what you think about something. Other people may not agree with you, but the examples are friendly, beautiful, Handsome, horrible, difficult, interesting, ugly. These all are the opinions. Size. A size adjective of course tells you how the big or small something is. Example, large, tiny, enormous, little, short, small, tall, high, big, thick, thin, etc. Age. An age objective tells you. How young or old something or someone is. Example, young, old, ancient, new. Shape. A shape adjective. It describes the shape of something. Examples, square, round, flat, rectangle, triangle, etc. Color. A color adjective, of course, describes the color of something. Examples. Blue, pink, reddish, gray, white, black, etc. Origin. An origin describes how, where something comes from. Example. French, American, Eastern, Greek. Likewise, we are talking about material. A material adjective describes what something is made from. Wooden. Metal, cotton, paper, etc. Purpose 
A purpose adjective describes what something is used for. These adjectives oftenly end with ing. Examples sleeping, roasting, walking. Examples. Here are the few examples which can explain you how to use the adjective orders in a sentence. A wonderful old Italian clock. Now here wonderful is the opinion. Old is the age. Italian is the origin of the noun which is clock. Next example is a big, a big square blue box. Big is the size. Square is the shape. And blue is the color. We have arranged these three adjectives in a sentence according to the rule, according to the order which I explained to you in the previous slides. A disgusting pink plastic ornament. Now disgusting is an opinion. Pink is the color and plastic is the material in this sentence and it is placed in an order. Some slim new French trousers. Here Slim is the size. New French are the age and the origin. Okay. Moving towards the exercise, which will let you know that whether you are prepared for this topic or not. Rearrange the following adjectives to make a good sentence. Now here is some example. She was wearing a long red beautiful dress, which is incorrect. You have to arrange these sentences into the order according to the rule of order of adjective. The answer is written here. She was wearing a beautiful long red dress. Here are a few of the ex uh, sentences which is given in a form of exercise. There are six sentences. Arrange them according to the correct adjective orders. Thank you. Good luck. Hope you got this topic.